Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. Today we're going to field trip my 1940 Lee Enfield number one, Mark III. Um, it's not so much as a field strip because there's very little you can do with this firearm without using tools. This is mostly just going to be how uh, far I disassemble it whenever I'm doing cleaning or routine maintenance. You can take it a lot farther than I'm going to take it in this video, um, but everything after where I go is pretty self explanatory. First, we want to open the bolt to ensure that the magazine and the firearm is unloaded. And then we will turn the lug upward, removing the bolt to the rear to remove it completely. Next step will be depressing the magazine release and completely removing the magazine. At the front of the rifle, there are two screws to hold on the nose cap slash front sight protector. You can remove these screws now. You can see that I'm using a Brownell screwdriver set. This is a fantastic screwdriver set, many bits. If you find that the screwdriver you're using isn't really fitting in these holes, or these slots, I should say, um, get a different screwdriver. You want to protect these screws as much as possible. Um, and having the right tool for the job is absolutely essential. I like to take an unthread, or and vice versa, thread, as much as I can by hand, so uh, as to not damage any markings on my rifle. With those two screws removed, you can now remove the nose cap slash front sight protector. The barrel band holds on the sling and there's a screw that is removed. You don't necessarily have to take it out all the way. I choose to. Um, and you can see that it has the integrated hinge which allows for its removal. With the barrel band removed, we can now remove the forward hand guard. Immediately behind where the barrel band was, there is going to be another screw to remove. It's recessed quite deeply, so if you can't pull it out, don't worry about it. It'll come out when you remove the rest of the rifle. Or if you're like me and your screwdriver just happens to be magically magnetic in this one moment, it'll come right out. Moving to the handguard, you can remove the screw at the front of the magazine housing. As well as a small screw at the rear of the magazine housing. The trigger guard and magazine housing can now be removed from the rifle. And the forestock can be removed as well. For the disassembly, it's pretty self-explanatory. You should be able to see all the clips and screws that you need to remove. And that is how I take and field strip, quote unquote, my Elite and Field number one, Mark III. Once again, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. If there's anything else you'd like to see, please join the Discord. Please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you.